Welcome to Baguio City. Baguio is a popular tourist destination located in the province of Benguet in the Philippines. Situated approximately 1,540 meters or 5,050 feet above sea level in the Luzon Island, Baguio is known for its cool climate, scenic landscapes, and rich cultural heritage. It is often referred to as the summer capital of the Philippines due to its pleasant weather, especially during the hot summer months. Our first stop is Baguio Cathedral, or Our Lady of the Atonement Cathedral. Located atop a hill in the heart of the city, Baguio Cathedral is one of the most iconic landmarks in Baguio. It is known for its distinctive pink facade and elegant architecture. Session Road is the main commercial thoroughfare of Baguio, lined with various shops, restaurants, and boutiques. It's a vibrant hub where locals and tourists alike gather to shop, dine, and experience the city's bustling atmosphere. Adjacent to Session Road is Burnham Park, a popular recreational area featuring a man-made lake, gardens, bike paths, and boat rentals. Named after Daniel Burnham, the American architect and urban planner who designed the city, the park spans over 32 hectares or 80 acres and offers a wide range of activities, amenities for both local and tourists to enjoy. The centerpiece of the park is a man-made lake where visitors can rent rowboats and pedal boats to leisurely explore the serene waters. It's a popular activity for families and couples providing a relaxing and scenic experience. The lake is also surrounded by gardens and trees, creating a peaceful atmosphere. Renting out these four-wheeled bicycles was a lot of fun. Everybody from young to old seemed to enjoy this fun activity. We also pass by the children's playground. The Botanical Garden is also a well-known attraction that showcases a wide variety of plants, both indigenous and exotic, amidst a peaceful and scenic setting. The garden is spread across a spacious area and consists of beautifully landscaped gardens with manicured lawns, vibrant flower beds, and meandering pathways. The well-maintained green spaces create a soothing and inviting environment for visitors to explore and enjoy. The garden serves as a showcase of the region's rich floral heritage. We made a pit stop at Chocolat de Batiro. The name Batiro refers to the traditional wooden whisk used to froth the chocolate drink. Here we see the master in action. Chocolate de Batirol is renowned for its rich and velvety traditional Filipino hot chocolate. The hot chocolate is made by grinding roasted cacao beans and mixing them with hot water or milk. The resulting beverage is a thick, creamy, and flavorful concoction. 
this was so delicious. After that tasty treat, we visited Camp John Hay. Originally established as a rest and recreation facility for the United States Armed Forces, it has been transformed into a popular tourist destination and leisure hub. Nestled amidst the Cordillera Mountains, Camp John Hay offers stunning natural beauty and cool mountain air. The camp covers a vast area with lush pine forest, manicured gardens, and a panoramic view of the city. The camp also offers a range of outdoor activities to enjoy. Visitors can go horseback riding through the scenic trails, play a round of golf at the 18-hole golf course, or try their hand at archery. The camp has other historical landmarks worth exploring. These include the Cemetery of Negativism, where visitors can symbolically bury their negative thoughts, and the Liberty Loop, which traces the path of American prisoners of war during the World War II. After horseback riding at Camp John Hay, we ended our day at the Mines View Observation Deck. It is one of the most visited spots in the city, offering breathtaking panoramic views of the surrounding mountains, valleys, and the mining town of Itogon. The observation deck is situated on the ridge overlooking the form of gold and copper mines of Benguet Corporation. It provides visitors with a stunning vantage point to appreciate the scenic beauty of the Cordillera Mountains and the cityscape of Baguio. At the observation deck, you'll find a platform area where visitors can stand or sit to enjoy the picturesque views. One of the most iconic features at Mines View is the traditional Cordillera attire that visitors can wear for a small fee. Wearing these colorful traditional garments, including the bahag or loincloth for men, and the tapas or wraparound skirt for women allows visitors to immerse themselves in the local culture and take memorable photos. Baguio is also known for its strawberries. And not far from the Mines View observation deck, we see numerous souvenir shops and stalls. These shops offer various handicrafts, woven items, wood carvings, and other local products, making it a popular place for tourists to shop for souvenirs. finish our Baguio trip at the Christmas Village.
It features a grand display of Christmas lights, decorations, and festive installations. Visitors can enjoy the dazzling light shows, take photos with the holiday-themed displays, and immerse themselves in the festive ambiance. Some displays often include life-size Christmas characters such as Santa Claus, snowmen, and other whimsical decorations. This is definitely a fun place to bring your kids. Since it doesn't snow in the Philippines, the Christmas Village is a treat for the young kids and my family truly enjoyed it. It's a must-see for all locals as well. After exploring Baguio City, I truly recommend going to the night market. The night market has great selection of food and is surprisingly affordable. We don't normally eat street food, but this one in Baguio is a must with your family and friends. Thank you for watching our video in Baguio. Please catch us next weekend.